Hello, everybody. Happy Memorial Day. It's Dave Neal, Stand Up Comic, and this is a Vanderpump Rules story for you today. It's got a little bit of everything. We have Tom Sandoval caught on an airplane on a phone call with Raquel, aka Rachel Levis. Uh, we've also got Elisa Vanderpump releasing a statement on Twitter we're going to get to, denying the allegations that she knew of something going on, plus rumors that there's a potential spinoff, Schwartz and Sandy. Uh, their restaurant will they get a spin-off TV show all uh, of you know all uh, all on their own oh the boys have grown up they've got their own show and then we've also got which cast members have confirmed they will be coming back so much to get to all right now do me a favor follow me on Instagram at D Neils I'm actually recording this very late at night uh, or early in the morning Memorial Day I'm flying uh, right after this to Nashville I've got a stand-up show tonight Monday night if you want to come to that hit me up on Instagram at D Neils uh, and then I've got a few podcasts and interviews and other things going on. So I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee all week long, but I will have content for you. So do me a favor, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will have content. I've got my mobile studio. It'll suffice. It does just fine. So we'll get into this Tom Spotted calling Raquel in a second here, but we've also got this um, at face reality. 16 uh, posted this screen grab of someone uh, that says they were told uh, while they were at Swartz and Sandy's, they said, our waitress told us that there's a bunch of their staff going to be on the show. That was in April. Question was, are they going to Sir or filming Schwartz and Sandy's? Schwartz and Sandy's. Would you guys watch a spinoff with Schwartz and Sandy? I'll tell you what, I would at this point. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I, this is a train wreck that I just cannot look away from. And speaking of train wrecks that we cannot look away from, let's go here. We've got the photo um, by Bravo in Cocktails underscore. And this was the email to them. Tom flying to Pittsburgh. Spill it to Bravo and Cocktails.com. Friend is flying from Nashville. Oh, geez. Oh, he was in Nashville? Oh, maybe I'll run into Tom on the flight. Uh, flying for, wouldn't that be funny? Hey, Tommy. Friend is flying from Nashville to Pittsburgh on Southwest. I'll be, I'm flying on Southwest. Got this photo, Tom, on the Southwest flight on the phone with Rachel. Zoom in on the photo. The email was sent from a contact form. Okay, so here it is. So there's the photo. And of course, you know, it's almost looks too good to be true. It almost looks Photoshopped, but you can kind of tell I me, mean, look, I'm no Photoshop expert, but judging by the, you know, <laughs> it's like looking at the Zabruta film, judging by the shadows and reflections, you got flat earthers out there, you know, con look, 13 minutes and 33 seconds. That's the number I see. What do you guys see? It says Raquel Levis. And you might say, well, look, if he was cheating on Ariana with Raquel, wouldn't you have some code name like call her Schwartzy or something, Schwartzy number two, or I don't know. But of course, he was um, he was cheating just in plain sight. So there it is. Of course, we can confirm the glamorous, uh, uh, glamour article here, didn't like it, but the glamorous white fingernails of Tom Sandoval. So there he is. You saw it here first, folks, or I guess you saw it on Bravo and Cocktails underscore. But look, I'd be upset too. How annoying is it to fly Southwest? What group am I in? There's, you know, uh, but hey, two free check bags. You got that going for you. So there he is. Um, and um, boy, yeah, time comes at you real rough here. Some Adidas. It looks like he's got some of those uh, beef jerky. Oh boy, his health is going to go. He's going to be entering a different stage of life if he keeps on eating beef jerky. And there he is with some zebra print shoes. All right, so we see it. Um, Sarah said, what difference does it make at this point, though? Well, I guess the difference is the people that assumed, or maybe it was leaked, that Tom Sandoval and Raquel had broken up. People said, oh, they had broken up. And then there was this front here that he was dating this lady. Uh, and, of course, she posted this. Anxiety tip, if you hang out with a famous person, be prepared that someone will likely take your picture, sell it to the tabloids, put your face on blast, tell everyone you're dating, and give you the worst anxiety you've ever experienced. Thank you to my closest friends for being there and checking on me right now. P.S. I'm not dating Tom. Well, there it is, folks. We've got a breaking news update here. Um, hold on a second. There it is. Austin girl not dating Tom. She says, find better hobbies. I mean, look, for in my credit, this isn't a hobby. This is a full-time job here. The Bravo babe said, Tom Sandoval and Carly Hale were seen together four times in Austin, Texas. Carly had a message to everyone speculating about their relationship. So there it is, folks. There's the detective work. So Sandoval not with Austin girl. I wonder, you know, people say, oh, who has the time to leak that news? Did Sandoval leak that news? Did Sandoval want us to believe he was with somebody else, but he was really with Raquel all along? Does this turn into a love story? 
If San and I've said this before, one of the only ways I think Sandoval actually repairs his image, this is a long con, this is a long con, is if he stays with Raquel, they have a family and they turn out to be okay humans. So 20 years down the line, we go, well, he did cheat on his longtime girlfriend, but at least they're happy now. But uh, we don't know if that's going to be the case. Ariana and Katie Maloney on returning to Vanderpump Rules season 11 if Tom Sandoval and Raquel Levis come back. So as far as that hardball, I'm not going to be on the show if you're on the show. As far as that game's called, it looks like they will return. Ariana and Katie are opening up about Vanderpump Rules season 11 and if they would come back if Tom Sandoval and Raquel return to the show. Sandoval and Raquel have isolated themselves from the group after they had a secret affair for several months. At least several months. Ariana had been in a long-term relationship with Sandoval and had a close... So we got all that, but where is the information? It's not up to us who comes back. I'm just going to be doing me. Me doing me means they are not a part of my life, says Ariana. But that's the most Jersey Shore. Oh, I'm just... It's me doing me. Uh, but hey, she's got a point. Ariana said that she would for sure do another season of the reality series, adding, I just wouldn't hang out with them. As for Ariana's something about her sandwich shop business partner, Katie Maloney, said uh, she said she was also game to return. Of course they're going to return. The question is, how much money can they now command? Uh, the show will, I mean, you know, no one's watching Vanderpump Rules if it's, uh, you know, old DJ boy over there and his girlfriend, Allie. Like, no one's watching it. Now, good for them. But people are watching if we got not just Ariana thriving, but we also want to see Tom Sandoval on the show. Let me know. Leave a comment. Am I wrong here? We might say, oh, we don't want to see Tom Sandoval on our screens. But you can't have a movie without a villain, right? You can't just have a go, you know, go lucky movie here. For me, so here's what she said. For me, yeah, I've got my friends. I've got Ariana. I've got Lala. Me and Sheena are getting along. That's enough to work with. And we have the sandwich shop. Sandoval and Raquel are all kind of the last thing on my mind. There's so much great things happening and so much other stuff to worry about. It's not for me to worry about how you fit into my life because you're not in my life. So even though Katie doesn't have Sandoval on her mind, oh, where did it go here? We lost already. We sure as hell know that... Other people have Sandoval on their mind. A nice photo of him sadly looking out the window. Although we have to say here, this looks like before the plane took off. This looks like the um, the the bridge, whatever it's called there, that's still attached to the window. So, um, But, you know, you have to say, I mean, not to say there's any big secrets to hide, but do, and again, I hate to be here with the X-Files music, do Sandoval and Raquel want us to see that they're on the phone? But also, I have to look at my phone here. Can you guys help me out? Does he have the mute button on? So does that mean he's listening to her, but he's not talking? That looks like the mute button, doesn't it? I'd love to know what you guys think. So in other news here, and by the way, we will have other content later today, unless something tragic happens on my Southwest flight, in which case I'll be making news for a entirely different reason. I'll be the first YouTuber to release a video while I'm not... Well, you know, I don't want to be morose here. Point being, this afternoon, I will have a my in my episode of Bachelor Rush Hour, my podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour with Dave Neal. You can check that out. I will have other entertainment news stories, of course, Bachelor content. But what I've been doing recently is I've just been giving people a little bit of everything. So if you want to stay, um, you know, on top of what's going on in the world of celebrity culture, entertainment news, and do it in a not so serious way. Like, look, I'm not trying to shame Sandoval or Raquel or anybody here that is involved in this wild, wild story. There's enough of that going on. I think just me not trying to judge anybody. I think what we can use online is some humor, some levity, Raquel Levity, and uh, some, you know, just, uh, you know, calming down from all of the judgments that we have. You can also follow me on Patreon if you want behind-the-scenes bonus content, or if you just want to donate to my channel and appreciate the work I'm doing, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. So in our final uh, aspect of the uh, channel here, Lisa Vanderpump took to Twitter and says, oh, no, I didn't know until a minute before you all did. I wish I would have, though. So this is her saying she didn't know that there was this behind the scenes thing going on with Raquel and Sandoval. Of course, nobody knows. Nobody knows what the uh, nobody knows what the hell is the big surprise reveal. Apparently, they say only the showrunner knows, but then we found out that apparently Sheena and Brock might know. And here's what Lisa Vanderpump says: I know the revelation, but it ain't that. Um, so other commenters, I think it's that production knew for way longer and way before they indicated, way before the news of the affair broke, which would be a huge betrayal of trust to many cast members who are close with their producers. 
you, you know how I know this. And then down here we have this little, um, let's see what this has to say here. We've got some clips to play. When you're finished and you guys get in the van, do you guys talk about the scenes that you film? In the moment, you know, we're just trying to get what's happening. Is everything happens so quick. And so they say everything's happening so quick, but of course, eh, so many people are caught on a hot mic. So many people, and by hot mic, meaning the, the audio you can be recording even if the video isn't. They usually record the audio separately. So could it be that the producers knew for much longer? Yes, but at the same time, as others have speculated, the producers wouldn't have been caught so surprised when the news of the affair broke unless they wanted it to spill into the next season. They were clearly surprised they had to get a crew from a Real Housewives show. They, you know, they weren't ready to go. You would think if the producers knew that an, a cheating scandal as big as this was coming out, they would be ready to confront it, and they would have probably hinted to some people, hey, ask uh, Sandoval what he's doing with Raquel, you know, that type of thing. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. Listen, listen none of this matters is the point, okay? None of this matters. It's Memorial Day which is where we celebrate those brave uh, heroes, really, that have died in battle uh, uh, protecting us and our liberties and our country. So a big um, you know, moment has to be remembered on a day like today that we are there to support all of those uh, fallen soldiers on this Memorial Day. Uh, again, none of this matters. This is gossip. This is not our lives. Uh, sometimes our lives are a little boring and this is this type of stuff we fill our time with. I'm not shaming you or anybody out there, but let's just take a moment. If we see any um, military or any service members of any type out there, give them some thanks. And also, let's just be nice to each other. We're all Americans out here for the most part. Uh, so for my fellow Americans, let's, for a little, a little while today, quit the fighting and be nice to someone. Give them a benefit of the doubt and be kind. Okay. All right, folks. Well, if I have time, I'll have some more content for you later today. If there's any uh, breaking stories, I'll cover it from my mobile setup, but I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be back later on this afternoon for the podcast Bachelor Rush Hour. Thanks, everybody.